from Hollywood. It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. Too kind. Thank you very much. Glad you could be part of our studio audience today. And of course, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. I'm your new host, and I'll be here to bring you all the fun and excitement that you've come to expect from this fast-paced show. And of course, you know, Wink Martindale, a legend in, a, in the business, let's face it, has done a terrific job over the last seven seasons. And I'm, I'm tickled to death to be able to follow him in this brand new season. I think without further ado, Charlie O'Donnell, Let's meet the contestants that are starting our show off today. Well, Jim, our current champ is a writer from New York whose interests include singing and aerobics. Her winnings total in cash and prizes $8,700. Meet Giselle Perez. And her opponent is a ballet producer whose interests include music and exercise. Meet Archie Lang. Hi, Archie. Welcome back. Thank you. I know you've been gone a little bit. Tell us what you've been up to over the last uh, few months. Well, I've been to Chicago to start meetings on this year's production of The Nutcracker for the Chicago Tribune Charities. Uh -huh. But that's not the most important thing that's happened to me. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I've become a grandfather for the first time. You have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -huh. oh that's... You just uh, took 20 years off your life with that happening, didn't I, you? I think it's going to happen, yes. Well, that, tell us about the baby. Well, it's a baby girl. Her name is Taylor Marie. She weighed seven and a half pounds. We think she's the most beautiful baby in the world, and I'm sure she's going to keep me on my toes. Well, I suspect that's exactly the case. Now, someone else who's standing right to your right here is going to be definitely keeping you on your toes is our current <laughs> champion, Giselle. Good I to know. have you back. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be back. <laughs> Giselle Perez. Now, if I remember correctly, before, uh, when you left us for a brief uh, pause uh, in, in our shooting, that uh, you were working on a book, right? Yes, I'm working on a project on the Creole people of Louisiana, which is real exciting to me because that's my family's ethnic background, and I'm learning a lot about my history. Well, that has to be an interesting, uh, fun project. It's a lot of fun, and I hope that if I win enough here, I can put some money into making a documentary film on the subject. Well, I don't think she's going to have any difficulty as far as in that category. At least now, we don't know what Archie's uh -huh. going to be doing today, but so far, of course, you've won in cash and prizes $8,700. Pretty amazing. <laughs> it, well, hey, you're obviously a very good player, and today we're going to see if you can up that or see if Archie's going to be a good challenger. You ready to go? Yes, ready. Let's get started. And, of course, the last time you were here, we were dead smack in the middle of a game when time ran out. And here are the categories that you were playing with. Let's see. Names the same. Trivia Dare. Country Music. Opera. Disney. Player Pass. Mixed Words. Jump in Category. And Famous Firsts. Now, here's how the board looked. All right, there it was. And how much did we have in the pot? We had a total of $1,000. That's where it stood. And, of course, let me remind you that those red boxes, the two there, Trivia Dare and Player Pass, are special categories, and I'll be sure to tell you how they work when we get to them. So, without further ado, let's shuffle. And, Giselle, I'm sure it's uh, your turn. Go ahead and select. I'm going to have to go to the center to block. Okay, Disney for a very important block. It's a two-part question. Now, several Walt Disney films have introduced songs which went on to win the Academy Award. I'll name two such Oscar-winning songs, you name the Disney film from which they came. Number one, Chim Chim Cheree. And number two, When You Wish Upon a Star. Here's your extra time. Okay, Giselle, you're going for that center box for a block. Now, several Walt Disney films have introduced songs which went on to win the Academy Award. I'll name two such Oscar-winning songs. You name the Disney film from which they came. Number one, Chim Chim Cherie. Mary Poppins. That's right. But in order for you to earn the center box and the block, what Disney film was involved with When You Wish Upon a Star? Pinocchio. You have the block, Giselle. <laughs> I almost couldn't get it out. But let's go, go ahead and put that X in that center box. It looks like we've already done it. So... $1,300 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And, Archie, we're over to you for a selection. Uh, 
I think I'll try jump in category, upper right. Okay, Archie, in the jump in category, I'll read this question to both of you. Whoever buzzes in first gets a chance to answer the question. Archie, if you get it right, you'll have a block. Giselle, if you get this box, you'll win your fourth game of tic-tac-doe. All right? Now, this famous American industrialist once said, any customer can have a car if any... <laughs> Archie, for the block. Henry Ford. You have the block, Archie. Thank you. Woo. You jumped right on that. Didn't give Giselle a chance or me to even hear the whole question. But Henry Ford is right, and we put an O in that box for the block. And we're going to be back with more of Tic Tac Doe right after this. Don't you dare go away. And welcome back. Of course, we're right in the middle of a game, and we're going to shuffle the categories with $1,500 in the pot. And Giselle, it's your turn. It's going to be names the same for the win. Okay. I'll pull out the card, Giselle, and we'll all kind of quiet down, because if you can answer this question, you'll win your fourth game of tic-tac-doe. Now, this Oscar-winning actor named George shares his last name with a flamboyant weatherman named Willard, who once gave his report while dressed like Carmen Miranda. For the game, Giselle, and a grand total of $10,400, what is the last name they share? Scott. You win! Great. Giselle, congratulations. Thank you. You did that in one fell swoop, and we all congratulate you. Of course, now, we took $1,700 and added that to your previous winnings. You have now won in cash and prizes, can you believe it? $10,400. And, of course, you're going to go up against the dragon in the bonus game in just a moment. But before we do that, Archie, it was sure a pleasure to have you with us here on Tic-Tac-Doe. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Did. Did. Thank you. You are a delightful player, and we wish you all the luck. And, of course, take care of that new, brand-new little baby. Well, Archie, I will. I will. Take care. Thank you. Giselle, come on over here. Let's play the bonus game. Congratulations. Thank you. 10,400. That's not bad for a short amount of time, huh? No. Now, you've played the bonus game before, right? Yes. You know how it works. You know that behind these numbers are various amounts of money, a tick, a tack, and, of course, the beloved dragon. And we always hear that awful growl. Now, you want to reach $1,000 or more, or get the tick and the tack, and you'll win this fabulous prize package. Giselle, each of these gifts is useful as well as ornamental. First, Giselle, you'll be able to enjoy meals in style on this lovely set of china. Verdana Limoges, four-play settings of Artois dinnerware, elegant china enhanced by traditional design, interpreted for today's lifestyle from Bernardo Limoges. Then here's a gift that will brighten the room even when it's not switched on. This handsome torsier lamp. From Bauer, the table torsier concept for nightstand, sofa back or console, brass columns intermixed with clear acrylic. Etched oval glass shade from Bauer Lamp Company. Next, you'll have a spare bed whenever you need it inside this sumptuous sofa. The Lazy Boy Signature 2 Sleep Sofa. It has a wide variety of fabrics that are suitable for any decor. Enjoy elegance by day and comfort by night thanks to Lazy Boy. And finally, as you sell, here's a gift worth more than $1,300 that you will find highly useful as well as stunningly ornamental. This glittering gold and diamond watch! This Jules Jurgensen Ladies Watch is designed in 14 karat gold with braided 14 karat gold bracelets. Decorative two-tone dial set with one diamond elegance by Jules Jurgensen. This useful and ornamental package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,100. Well, I can tell by what she just said. She just said it's wonderful, and I saw her reaction when you, when you heard about the gold watch. That will be fabulous if you can win it. But, of course, you want to avoid the dragon at all costs and, of course, get the tick and the tack, and you'll win the dough automatically. You understand that, right? All right, let's go ahead and cover them up and move them around. And uh, now, before you make your first selection, is there anybody in the audience you want to have uh, help you? Anybody in particular? Well, I have a lot of my family out there. Well, good. They better help me. All right. We, have we got a camera on them? There yeah. they are. All right. That's well, my mom. Super. Next to her is my brother, Al, my cousin, Adele, 
Everybody's here. And my other brother, Ricardo. Terrific. Well, let's go ahead. I know they're going to be giving you lots of help. Where are you going to go first? Anybody have any ideas? Boy, everybody's giving you help. Let's try five. All right, she says number five. Let's see what's behind number five. 150. Okay, just 850 to go. Now, you can take the money. You're going to keep going? Um, nine. She's going. They all say nine. All right, everybody says nine. Let's see if they're all right. $400. Just 450 to go. You're going to keep on, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Every number in the book, what are you going to do? Three. All right. A hush comes over the crowd. Behind three. Fifty. Ooh, you're so close now. What are we up to? Eight hundred dollars. Two hundred to go. Come on. What's it going to be, Giselle? Well, I'm going to try lucky seven. Lucky seven. All right. Behind seven, we have... You did it! You did it! Congratulations! Oh, wow. I think I'll keep them. <laughs> I, I guess you will. They did a good job, didn't they? Let's find out, by the way, right now, where that dragon was hiding out. There he was, behind number two. That's him. So you did exactly what you're supposed to do. You avoided the dragon, and what have you won to date now? $4,100 that was worth. Add that to your previous winnings, you're up to $14,800. And all you have to do now is uh, go back to the podium and uh, meet your next contestant. Why don't you head on back there? Okay, thank you. And while she's doing that, of course, we're going to go to a break and be right back with more of Tic Tac Toe. Don't you go away. The following scenes may be difficult for some viewers. They are even more difficult for the children who live them. 30 a.m. Pacific on Game Show Network. Of course, just before we went to break, Giselle won the bonus game, and she has already picked up now $14,800. And I think it's time for us to meet your new challenger, Giselle. Tell us about him, Charlie. Well, Jim, she manages a bookkeeping company and enjoys bird watching and Egyptology. Meet Chili Campbell. <laughs> Hello, Chelly. I just said him. You're obviously not a him, you're a her, and it's nice to have you with us today. Thank you. Uh, how did you get interested in ancient Egypt? Well, as a child, my father showed me books and talked to me about the culture, and I found it fascinating. Have you ever uh, visited Egypt yourself? No, not yet, but next year I plan to take a big trip to tour the ancient ruins with my dad. Well, of course, you're going to take your father. Does that mean you're not going to take your mummy? <laughs> oh. Well, with that, I think we better wrap things up and uh, with that particular interview and get started with the game. Now, here are the nine new categories you're going to be playing with on this game. Let's take a look. Finish the list. It's a dilemma. Botany, colors, mythology, number please, potluck picks, auction, and explore. And I'll explain right now that those three boxes, those red ones, are special categories, and I'll be sure to explain how those are played when we get to them. So. Let's go ahead now and get started. And let's remember one thing. There's a car at stake. Giselle, you've already won four games. If you win this game, you're going to win a brand new car. And Giselle, you're our champion, so why don't you go ahead and start us off with a selection. I'm going to take Potluck Picks in the corner. Potluck Picks it will be. Now, take a look at this picture, Giselle. This puzzle, which was a big fad, was named for its inventor. Name that popular puzzle. Rubik's Cube. Judges? That answer is acceptable. You did it just in time, Giselle. <laughs> Rubik's Cube it is. <laughs> that was close. That was close, Giselle. But we'll put an X in the bottom left-hand corner, and with $200 in the pot, we'll shuffle up, and Shelly, your first turn. Um, I'll go for m mythology in the bottom right. Okay, mythology it is. In Greek mythology, when... Perseus cut off the head of the Gorgon Medusa. This beautiful winged horse was born from the blood. It was later tamed by the goddess Athena. Name this winged horse. Pegasus. You've got the box, Shelley. Very good. 
So we'll put an O on the board, and we're going to take a break and come back with more of Tic Tac Doe in just a second. Stay with us. Welcome back. We're looking at $400 in the pot. We're going to shuffle the categories, and Giselle, we're back to you for a selection. Um, Where are you going to go? I'm going to have number, please. All right, number, please. You've chosen that category, and it's a situation where either one of you might win the box. Now, how many muscles does it take for a person to smile, Giselle? If you can give me the exact number, you'll win the box automatically. Um, 30. Giselle, 30 is not the exact number, but you still can get the box. Now, Chelly, do you think that the exact number is higher or lower than 30? Remember, a right answer and you'll get the box. A wrong answer and Giselle will, in fact, get the box. What do you think? Higher or lower than 30? Lower. Shelly, the exact number is 17. That's lower. You win the box. <laughs> 17 muscles it takes to create a smile. I didn't know that. <laughs> That Feels was a, like more right now. Well, it, that's a good point. It, uh, who would ever know it? But we'll go ahead and put an O on the board. And now we have $600 in the pot. We'll shuffle them up. Shelly, it's your turn. Potluck picks. Oh. Okay, potluck it'll be. And listen carefully to this question and remember, of course, if you can answer this question, Shelly, you'll become our new champion. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this picture. His favorite hobby is stealing picnic baskets for tic-tac-toe and a total of $800. Name him. Yogi Bear. You win, Kelly. <laughs> Yogi Bear it is. Shelly, congratulations. You just picked up $800 and you're now our new champion. So Thank that's you. exciting. Give her a hand. And you're going to play your first bonus game in just a moment to see how well you can do against the dragon. Giselle, you are definitely not going to be walking away from all of us here at Tic-Tac-Doe with nothing, that's for sure. You have won in cash and prizes a total, grand total, of $14,800. Thank you. And I know, as you spoke earlier, of course, you're in the process of writing a book and hope to make, make a mini documentary. I hope that this money helps you along the way. Thank you very Lots much. Lots of luck to you, Giselle. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment with more of Tic Tac Go. Stay with us. Mystic Music presents Twilight Time. One summer night. It's a lover. Or call 1 800 856 6446. That's 1 800 856 6446. Well, Shelly, we're not going to have an opportunity for you to play the bonus game this particular go and We'll do that on the next show. I know we have a little bit of extra time. Now, you said you before you haven't been to Egypt. No. But you're planning a trip, and what goes into planning a trip to Egypt? I mean... Well, we're collecting brochures at the moment from tour companies who provide the trips, and the Egyptologists to guide you around and tell you about all the ruins. Right. And, of course, now you say you're into bird watching also. You're going to be looking forward to oh, seeing... Oh, I'll take my field guide to Egyptian birds with me when I go, for sure. I mm -hmm. guess there are all kinds of strange animals animals and, uh, of all kinds in Egypt that most of us have never seen, right? Right. I'm sure there are all kinds of animals, but my particular interest is birds. I like birds. Well, maybe <laughs> one of these days, if you continue to win, which we hope you do, you'll run into a category on birds and you should be able to clean up in that category. Yes, I hope somebody writes some questions on that. <laughs> okay, well, think about that. And of course, you've already won $800. Mm -hmm. What would one like yourself spend your first $800 winning it on a game show? What do you think? Paying off my master charge bill. Hey! <laughs> That's a, that's a good idea, to get out of debt and things like that. Right. And of course, uh, this kind of show, which amazes me, we've had, what's been the top winning on Tic Tac to date? Something well over $300,000, 35, 40 shows, 50 shows. You think you can do that? Any thousand would be really nice. <laughs> Any thousand. Well, we'll yeah. look forward to seeing how well you do on our next show. And for now, I'm Jim Caldwell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. You know, ideas and inventions come from people in all walks of life. With that on, Wheel of Fortune, followed by Jeopardy.
stakes are high. One mistake and Chris retains the championship. So it pays to go slow. Breeze right there. Play your cards right. I'll try it higher. And you might win the show. Lower than the queen. Yeah! <laughs> on Card Sharks, Wild Game, Witty Poetry. Next on Game Show Network. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack, Barry, and Tan and Wright production.